Tramming the Q-Series with Mike from Veteran Wood Co. I'll be using the Pro Edge Technologies quarter inch shank double tram gauge, which I bought off Amazon. Cost about $100, I'll put the link in the description. Take the tram gauge, insert into your collet, and hand tighten. There's no need to go too tight, you don't even have to use a tool. Once you're done admiring the tram gauge, insert it into your spindle or collet. I'm using a half inch piece of clear acrylic that I place underneath the tram gauges, which I'll use to get my reading. I'm also using the StepCraft Bluetooth remote app on my iPhone to control my CNC machine. This is super helpful when doing tramming work so I don't have to go back and forth to my laptop to control the spindle. Every set of tramming gauges you'll buy has a set of directions. For these particular tramming gauges, you have to calibrate them off of your CNC machine before you begin. That requires a small magnet to be placed underneath one of the indicators and then setting zero from that point. I'm putting a slight amount of pressure downwards on the z-axis in order to get the indicator face to move. Go about a one rotation complete according to my directions and then zero out my indicator face with my dial face. This is zeroing out the right side tram gauge. Once the one indicator is zeroed out, rotate 180 degrees and repeat the process. You'll see how the left side indicator is now also zeroed out on top of the same magnet. You have now completed the calibration process and both indicators are zeroed out. For the StepCraft Q-Series CNC line, always tram your X-axis first which means your indicator faces will face either to the left or to the right side of the machine and you'll be making adjustments on the top or the bottom of the spindle. We can now begin tramming our machine. The first step is to slightly lower your z-axis and apply pressure onto the indicators. Here, I'm loosening all four Allen head bolts that hold the spindle onto the z-axis. Use caution to not over loosen the bolts as you don't want to risk the spindle sliding down and crashing into the indicators. I'm removing the old shims that I had on top of the spindle bolts I'm going to replace it with a single shim and start from there. By placing a shim behind the spindle up top the bolts is kicking the right side needle down lower than the left side. Applying pressure downwards on the z-axis with the bolts of the spindle tightened, you can see how even the needles are and they achieve the same reading. This was a little bit of luck and a little bit of previous experience knowing that my machine needed a shim up top. Your x-axis is now in tram. You rotate your dial indicators to the right 90 degrees and begin lowering your z-axis until you register a reading on your tram gauges. As you can see from the needles, we have about a 5,000th difference between the left side and the right side, so that tells me we need to re-loosen the spindle bolts and make some micro adjustments. And don't worry about knocking the x-axis out of tram, the shim is going to hold that in place, we're only worried about our y-axis. This is going to require some delicate hands. The bolts are not too loose, but they're not too tight. They're tight enough so the spindle doesn't come crashing down, but they're loose enough to where I can make adjustments by tapping on it with my hand. There's no need to use a hammer or any other hard object on your spindle. Slight taps from the left and right side should be enough to get those micro adjustments. Once you've been able to align both needles at the same number, go ahead and slowly back away. Take a picture for your friends and family. Verify the needles are in fact matching the same number and you're done. You can now slowly and gently begin tightening the bolts to your spindle. When I say slowly, I mean slowly. If you go too aggressive and tighten one too much or one too little, you can actually knock your spindle back out of tram. To verify you follow the tramming procedures properly, rotate your tramming gauges 360 degrees and notice how your tramming needles don't move. Congratulations you've just perfectly trammed a CNC machine. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave one below. Hit that like and subscribe button. I do appreciate the support. I want to thank my sponsors, Tools Today and StepCraft.